Hey, what's up, you guys? I am back at it again with another video. I have another story time for y'all. I don't know if this is appropriate for you, so I'm about to cover your ears. <laughs> but this is Ellie, you guys. She's making another um, breakthrough in my video. <laughs> but yeah, so I have another story time for you guys. Y'all see this wig trying to hang in there? Come through, Charisma. A Krasma, Carissa, whatever the name of this wig was. <laughs> but yeah, I have another story time. Unfortunately, this is about the time that I hung around the wrong people who weren't my friends when I was a teenager. And the girl dropped me off in front of... Damn, this is really... It. This story actually is like... You know what? I'm just going to tell it. It's just weird. It's story time when I hung around wrong folks, got drunk, a rumor started. It's just, it was horrible. It was horrible. But I ain't had a business drinking in the first place, but I feel like I was kind of in a peer pressure situation. I pray that you never have to go through that. Please be your own person. Don't follow. Don't follow. Don't try to be cool, okay? Okay, so I was, I had to be 16 because I moved, this is at a fresh new school. I was 16 years old and I moved to a school where nobody liked me for no goddamn reason. I don't know why none of the girls at the school liked me. I had no problems with the boys, of course, <laughs> but none of the girls liked me. Like, it was just me and my sister. Like, that's it. That's all. And we was always together. They thought we were twins, because me and my sister looked just alike. But the girls didn't like us, so I was invited to a party, and I heard that my cousin was going. She wasn't my real cousin. She was actually my best friend's cousin. And I heard that she was going. So I was like, you know what? I'm a guy. I'm a go ahead and go. So, oh, y'all see my Punisher shirt? It's Halloween, so you know I had to try to do some. I don't have a costume, so I tried. Walmart shirt. <laughs> okay, anyway. So I decided to go ahead and go to this damn party. Y'all, so I get to the party. I don't know anybody, so I'm not really talking to anybody. And this guy, he starts to talk to me. Like, I, I was familiar with him in school. Like I said, the, the guys were nice at school. The girls weren't. But, so yeah, the guy, he was all like, you know, talking to me, like, why are you not having fun? Why are you not doing this, this, and that? And I'm like, I don't know. So, they started playing this drinking game. And my, uh, my best friend's cousin finally comes, and she plays the game too. So I was like, you know what? What the heck? I don't remember what the hell the game was about. I just know we had to, I think it was a question game, drink if you never done it. And there was half the shit I ain't done yet. So, <laughs> I was just taking shots after shots. And after a while, I was drunk. And the boy that was friendly with me, he was like, I was on the couch by myself. And he low-key was trying it. I hate niggas that be trying to take advantage of females when they drunk. Like, nigga, are you serious? Like, you can't get it when, you can't get no sober kitty. Like, why the fuck are you trying to take advantage of somebody while they don't even, they not in their right state of mind? But, anyway. That's why I don't like getting drunk no more. I don't get, I, tipsy is the farthest I go now. I don't even like feeling hung, hung over and all that shit. I don't like that. So, yeah, anyway, back to what I was saying. So, He's all, like, trying to fill up on me and stuff like that. And I'm, like, I'm pushing his arm away, like, dude, get off me. Like, I'm, I, yeah, I'm drunk, but I'm not stupid, bitch. Stop touching me. Like, he kept trying to touch me, and it was blowing me. So after a while, I asked my cousin friend, like, because I actually came with my cousin's friend. My, um, my, I'm sorry, my, my best friend's cousin's, her friend. And... 
So I was like, yeah, can we go home now? Like, cause I'm drunk. I was a little, sorry y'all. <laughs> I was a little too drunk and I was ready to go home. Like this dude keeps touching up on me and he trying me like he think he, that I'm about to go. I'm not going. Like nigga, you ain't getting none of, none of me. Like you're not about to touch me. So I'm like, can we go home? So this girl, she not my friend. She's like, obviously she's not my friend because if she was my friend, she would have walked me to the door. Like she would have made sure I got in the house safely. This girl, I guess I was super drunk. I don't really remember. I know for a fact though that she um, rung the doorbell, left my ass on the front stoop and left. And my mom, I don't know who answered the door, I don't know if it was my sisters or what. I don't remember because I was drunk. I was 16, doing shit I ain't got no business doing. God damn, I'm a mom now. <laughs> but yeah, so what I ended up doing is like, my bad y'all, I have to get my baby. <laughs> but anyway, so. I don't know who opened the door. I'm not sure if my sisters or what. I don't really remember everything there. I just know that somehow I ended up in my bed and I was throwing up. I was sick as a dog. My mom came in. I just remember her talking crap. Like I don't even remember what exactly, but I know she knew because then she you know, told my damn grandma. She told my grandma, y'all. Mom, you a snitch. <laughs> she told my grandma, and my grandma thought I was an angel, y'all. Like, my mom petty. Like, she didn't have to do all that. I can't stand when parents do that. Like, why you have to do that? You didn't have to tell grandma, whatever happens in this house stays in this house. Ain't that what you used to say? <laughs> but yeah, she snitched on me. So then the next time I saw my grandmother, she was all like, like I was like, oh, she said my middle name. I was like, I know. Like, what's so crazy is I don't even know if I got punishment because I think that hangover was punishment enough. Like, yo, I was sick as a dog. Like, I was. That was horrible, horrible. Like, I, I just, mm, I think that was the worst hangover I ever had in my life. But anyway, weekend horrible. I got in trouble. Monday hit. All of a sudden, I'm a hoe. And I don't understand how I got the whole title, but the boy that was touch, trying to touch up on me, he lied and said he had sex with me. Y'all, I was so blue. I'm like, what? How? What? I don't even do that. Like, I'm still a virgin. What? What? Like, boy. Boy. Like, why do niggas be doing, why do they do that? It was so crazy is, like, what if I was the type that just, like, lit a rumor ruin my life? You know what I'm saying? Like, just, ugh. this dude, then, like, everybody was calling me a hoe, whispering about me and all this shit. Like, and I didn't understand, like, I didn't even let this dude touch me. Like, I asked to go home. I was drunk, but I wasn't stupid. Nigga, you weren't about to touch me. And then he was ugly as hell. Like, if y'all saw this boy, y'all wouldn't even, like, boy. <laughs> but it wasn't even the fact that he just ugly, just the fact that he lied. Like, this dude lied and ruined my, like, the rest of my high school year, like, for a couple of weeks. Like, that school, I only went there for three months, and I hated the shit. Hated that school because nothing good came out of it. I was, like, so mad that we moved. Like, <laughs> In the middle of my junior year on top of that. But yeah, this nigga lied. I was like, talk. nobody said much in my face, but I was getting the eyes and the guys were like doing certain things because they thought that I was easy all because it's one dude. And then after that, I just kept on ditching. Like, I ditched a whole lot in that school because I just hated the school. I hated what I was going through. Like, nobody. And then like, what's so crazy is I hate that I didn't talk about this shit to my mom. Like, now that I'm older. I really hope my kids feel like, like, are at the point where they feel like they can talk to me. Like, I don't understand why I even felt like I couldn't talk to my mom about this stuff. Because, like, my mom cool as hell. I don't understand why I felt like I couldn't talk to her at that time. Maybe teenage mind. I don't know. But, y'all, yeah, it was just the worst. But the message at the end of the story is, watch who you call your friends. Let's don't be hanging out with anybody and everybody. Like, Lord. Ooh, watch.
got y'all kids. My kids are still small, but I know in the blink of an eye, they're going to be teenagers and I have to worry about shit like this. So I'm going to have to like find a way for them to be able to talk to me and not fall into the trap and not, oof, y'all. I ain't ready. I ain't ready. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed my story time. Please continue to support me. I appreciate all the love. Even if it's like 10 people that continuously watch my videos, I appreciate the 10 people. I am going to continue to keep doing this until I get tired or fed up with because I ain't getting no views. <laughs> But y'all gonna keep on doing it, y'all, because I actually enjoy it. it. It does take a lot of time, though. I see how people aren't, like, always consistent with this stuff. But I do enjoy it. So, thanks again. Thanks for watching. Continue to support. Subscribe, comment, do your thing. Deuce.